What's going on everyone, Voxel Senpai here. Today I want to go over the build I crafted the other day and I showed you guys the one shot dozer build. Now this one's pretty spicy so yeah, hang on to your, uh, hang on to your panties, gentlemen. <laughs> um, there's two variations for this build, the one I did solo and the one for teammates. Um, usually if you can uh, be a team player and you want to inspire, you, know, you want maybe a stock attacks or first day kits, well then you want to go something like this, either pick up combat doctor or uppers, whatever you desire. But uh, the one I'm going to show you is the one I, um, the more, how would you call it, selfish one. Because honestly, like, I mean I love this player and all, but <laughs> um, even in, with, when I'm playing with my friends, uh, sometimes I just don't want to inspire and I run uh, Swan Song, Faint Dead on Messiah, because it's just so good right now. That shit is just fucking OP. Anyway, for the Mastermind, I didn't explain this. For the Mastermind, you're gonna want Stable Shot to unlock this uh, branch, then you're gonna go for Rifleman because you don't need accuracy, like I explained in my Mastermind video. Um, then you're gonna go hope for High Value Targeting, and it's gonna give you 65% damage um, as long as you mark the enemies and you're 10 uh, meters away from them. Um, pretty self explanatory here. Uh, you're just getting this skill for the bonus and for the extra added damage on bulldozers. Now, from the enforcer tree, this is where a lot of your points will be spent. You're gonna unlock the shotgunner branch um, by uh, getting the dark basic. Then, after that, you're gonna go for shotgun CTB ace and close by ace. Now, you're not gonna get shotgun impact. The reason why is because you're gonna get silent killing or whatever it's called, it's called specialized killing. The ghost tree. That's where that's gonna give you enough damage, uh, so you don't actually need shotgun attack. It's just always the points. Uh, after that, you obviously want overkill aced. So overkill is not buffed. Uh, the seventy-five percent damage increase when you kill someone with a shotgun. It's increased by twenty seconds. I mean, not increased by twenty seconds. It's, it now lasts twenty seconds. And uh, the ace version gives you weapons uh, swap speed of eighty percent, and it also gives you so this skill can be used with other weapons, not only shotguns or the saw, uh, which is awesome. Uh, note that it does not apply to grenade launchers, yeah, blah blah blah. Oh yeah, on the RPG, the RPG constant counts as a grenade launcher. So, uh, excuse me, we'll let you have it. This is the, uh, these two skills of the bread and butter of the build. Although you actually, uh, you, you, you kind of have to, you need this as well, so yeah. Anyway, the tank. Uh, resilience Ace, I, I always get this Ace because the flashbang duration reduction and uh, it's just very good. Um, I'm gonna go for Bullseye because I'm using Anarchist and then I'm also gonna go for, I think it's Die Hard Ace, uh, Transport Basic and Iron Man Basic. So these two, these three skills right here improve your armor of your Ballistic Vest by a lot. And I mean a lot, look at this, 300 armor, just with a heavy ballistic vest, that's insane. 300 armor, that's more than the ICTV um, when you're not using Anarchist. This is, the, even when you're using Anarchist, it only gives you 400 armor, it just, it just gives you 100 more armor points. This allows you to stay mobile, and it allows you to absorb some pretty decent amount of damage. Uh, so yeah, that's what you get from the first tree. Mm, nothing to tech, I believe. And then from the ghost tree, you're gonna want duck cover. You're gonna want parkour as well. It's uh, movement speed. Then you're gonna want second wind, optical illusions. These are just filler skills, so you can get to specialized killing, which is the, the main gist of this build. Um, well, not the main gist, but this, this, plus this as well, makes it so you can watch the dozers. And like, I believe that's all you get from ghost from fugitive. Then you want. All these good skills. So, uh, night lives uh, increases your uh, times to go down by one, and then uh, the basic effects is just whatever. Uh, Swan Song, we all know love and Swan Song. Uh, Messiah, uh, it's now changed. You can kill uh, whatever with whatever weapon you want, and uh, you only have one charge now, though. However, you can replenish this with your doctor bag, and that's why I usually, whenever I have the uh, Messiah equipped, I usually go for Ace doctor bags. If I'm going solo, though, I'll just bring a doctor bag for myself. It's a, ba a basic doctor bag, it's all you need. Uh, if you bring with you a basic doctor bag, that's like you have. That's like you acing Messiah. 
you know, uh, on the previous version of Payday. And uh, yeah, so the age version allows you to replenish this whenever you use Dr. Back. Think that 45% chance to get instantly revived um, every time you get down. So basically, you toss a coin and, you know, odds are not in your favor, but can, they're still pretty good odds that you'll get up. Um, you know, it's less than 50%, but it's still really, really, really strong skill. Um, I have six points remaining, and I'm not sure where I spent them, honestly. I probably spent them over here and here. No, it's not right. Over here and. Hmm, not too sure. Two skill points remaining. What are these two skill points on? Well, I mean, as you can see, you have six uh, skill points remaining. You can use them in uh, whatever skill you want. You can get uh, parkour if you want. You can get Duck and Cover Ace. Oh, yeah, I got Duck and Cover Ace uh, for the increased chance of 10% uh, increased chance of dodgeball sprinting. I'm not actually sure it works, though. Uh, Yeah, I'm just I'm not sure this actually works with the armor I'm carrying right now. Because you see negative fifteen dodge. Negative five, negative ten. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it doesn't work because it has negative fifteen. So this skill wouldn't work, so I don't recommend getting this skill. Maybe getting this one so you can have the you can give your teammates the um thirty percent movement speed for five seconds uh boost. When your armor breaks, yeah, so that looks pretty good. Okay, so this is this is your build. This is the uh, one shot dozer build with anarchist. Now you could go, uh, you can make a lot of variations as you please. You can go and get, go ahead and get yourself Iron Man. You can go ahead and get Inspire. You can do a lot of stuff. Uh, just the key ingredients here are overkill, high value target, and specialized killing. Those are the main skills that you need to one shot a dozer, and. Uh, other conditions that must be met, you need to kill an enemy with a shotgun first, and you also need to be 10 away, uh, 10 meters away from the dozer. Now, if you don't, if you're not 10 meters away from the dozer, it's gonna be a two-shot kill. So make sure you're 10 meters away from it. Um, other than that, you'll be always getting one shot kills if those conditions meet. And then the weapons, of course, I'm gonna show them to you. Uh, suppress barrel from the from the Thanatos to get that juicy. Where's the 30% extra damage? And um, Boosts, you can get whatever you boost you want. Uh, I put like a combo just because it looks cool in the sniper. Yeah, and same here. I'm just putting some attachments and I equip the Faya scope because I, I love it. I don't know, it looks super cool on the on the Thanatos. I love the look of it. Like what this gun did. It's fucking beautiful. This is a gun that I would kiss. <laughs> anyway, mm, the locomotive. Locomotive is just modded for. You don't want uh, any ammo mods. And the reason for that is because your damage is already good enough, and also getting ammo mods will decrease the pickup rate of the shotgun. So you really don't want to mess around with that, since your shotgun is going to be your primary deal of dealing with uh, normal cops, uh, tasers, you know, all that stuff. Uh, the only reason you will pull out the Thanatos is if there's a shield in your way, you want to, you know, just penetrate them and uh, get right in there. Or you want to watch out a dozer, maybe even a taser. If you're far away, just snipe them. Uh, focus, you know, stuff like that. But you don't use uh, you don't need, you don't use the fans for normal cops. You use the, the locomotive uh, barrel exit, the shh suppressor. You don't have the the shh. <laughs> you can go with the silent killer suppressor. It's basically the same thing. It just gives you more accuracy, and uh, that's basically it. Mm, boost. Just use whatever boost you have. Uh, left combo for stability, rubber grip for stability and accuracy. Uh, extended magazine for the two extra rounds, I think, gives you. Yep. Uh, I equip this side just because I like it, I guess. And I don't. I, I, I also equip a side because I always run holy shorty stock and it gives you this ugly railing and it's just really, really ugly to aim with. So I always put a side on it. And plus, it gives you stability. You know, it's not too bad. And then um, the. Um, Magazine upgrade shell rack. So, yeah, there you have it. These are the mods. Uh, this is the part that I use Anarchist. Um, the armor, skills, and uh, 
that's it. This build is pretty malleable. You can, you know, change it however you want. Like I said, you can get inspired, you can get uh, Iron Man Aced. You can do a lot of stuff. But uh, this is kind of like, this is the way I like to run it because it, it's kind of like a hunter build. You know, you target down a dozer and you just one shot them from the from far away. It's awesome. I love it. Um, yeah, that's it. Uh, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you later. Peace.